Welcome to Singapore and good morning, Dave. Thank you. You are the expert in CQ, which is also short for cultural intelligence. We would like to ask you some questions about it. First of all, could you please share with us the beginnings of cultural intelligence? Sure. So the origins of cultural intelligence are academic in nature. My colleagues and I are researchers and for about 20 years we've been asking the question, can you actually measure and predict whether or not someone's going to be able to work effectively with people from different cultural backgrounds? And that certainly includes how a North American might interact with a Singaporean, but it also includes us wanting to know, could you predict how they'd work with different generations or people who are performing different functions in the workplace. And what we found is yes, you can actually measure and predict how someone's going to behave in a culturally diverse situation, which offers all kinds of insights for our organizations and individuals. How do you think having strong cultural intelligence will equip us for the future? Well, there's a number of ways that having strong CQ can equip us at an organizational level. Uh, you're performing in a global marketplace. So if you have workers who are adept at bridging different cultures, they can better understand their customers, they can better work together. Uh, for young people, it's part of what differentiates you in a global landscape. Today, you are not simply competing with somebody else going to your school or even somebody else in your town. You're competing with the world for the same positions in the same universities, uh, workplaces, etc. So as you develop it, it gives you an opportunity to set yourself apart um, from other individuals who are also going after the same opportunities. In your view, what are the differences be between being culturally intelligent and culturally smart? Yeah, so uh, culturally smart says to me I know a lot about different cultures, which of course is one piece of cultural intelligence, but cultural intelligence is do you actually have the skill to work effectively with people from different backgrounds? So I might think I know a lot about German culture, but that doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to be able to interact effectively with someone from a German background. So cultural intelligence goes the next step and it helps us to apply those cultural smarts to actually building effective relationships. As an ancillary question, is being culturally competent the same as being culturally intelligent? It could be. It depends on what you mean by culturally competent. Uh, there are more than 300 published theories of cultural competence. Uh, healthcare kind of has their own definition. The business world does. Universities have a different one. Um, so I think the key part is cultural intelligence is distinct from many of those other approaches in coming back to that ability to measure it. Why do I care that I can measure my cultural intelligence? Because it then gives me a reference point of saying, so what is it that I would need to work on to become more effective at what I'm doing? Mm -hmm.